Yeah, so nice work surface I can roll underneath. There's the hammer I dropped earlier today. Pegboard, got my tools hanging. Got a charger down there that I can get to. Um, and these shell, those are out of my reach. Those are not usable, but these two over my head are reachable. So I can pull that stuff down and I'm trying to get organized a little better and then I can get at my toolbox and get into all those things. So that's really all I got for workspace. Everything else is getting pretty consumed by things with wheels, chairs, mountain bikes, Gloria. The boat. So yeah, like I said, position is everything. With my level of trunk control, I always gotta be kind of leaning into things and elbows on tables helps a lot. You know, like if I'm working, I like to be under my tables, always be under your work surface. Trying to drill a hole through a knife blade made by Gerber. And it is quite hard and I'm using a carbide tipped 3 16 inch drill bit, which I wish I would have bought small. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to fit this onto my quad tool, which looks like this. And there's just two holes right there. Excuse me, I'm with my safety glasses in my mouth. That's why I'm doing this, is to try to change blades onto my quad tools grip tool. Quadtools.com, great product for quadriplegics. Uh, yeah, so, so far, I got through one hole that was already existing in this one. I've probably done this five or six times already, like you're about to see, and I'm still not through. It's not a very thick knife, knife plug either. Got my cheaters so I can zoom in. And when I want to see things like the tip of a drill, I can see if it's sharp. It's very helpful. Magnification. Uh, bifocals, yeah, safety glasses with bifocals, believe that or not. But anyways, it is... Oh, October 30th today, the day after I got an elk. I harvested an elk from a ranch owned by the British Petroleum Company. It's a really long story, but there's these two dudes that are environmental engineers and scientists, and they take quadriplegics hunting. And yeah, good people. Really good day yesterday. Um, so anyways, I'm trying to get ready to harvest this elk because me and my friends are going to try to package this thing, and I can do a lot of it. I can do grinding and I can do some rough cutting, you know, with my quad tools knife. I can use the vac sealer, really. I'm kind of an ace with the vac sealer, actually. It's probably my jam. And puts me in the in square in the seat of quality control. But, uh, yeah, so here we go. Show you how I use a tool. That's a just a Milwaukee 12 volt. I like the M12 lithiums because they're a little lighter. They make a two amp hour that's really small and the drill can be cumbersome if it's heavy just to grab because I don't have any grip, right? Just Tino Visas only. So you do like that and you whoop. So I'm using my Tino, just kind of holding it, resting it on my hand, using my shoulder muscles a lot, obviously. And I start it by getting there and this is the trigger finger over here. And at some point you got to transfer your hand and then get your other hand on the trigger finger because I'm on the left of the knife blade using my right hand so looks funny in the selfie mode but so this is cutting yeah so you do that for a little while until your arm gets tired clean your tip inspect so there is the first hole 3 16 inch that's how far I am but there's the blade. I just bought this on Active Hands, actually. ActiveHands.com. They've got a bunch of stuff in the UK on there for quads and stuff that are really handy. This little uh, gimbal type vice. I don't, know, I don't know how much it was, but man, I bolted on my workbench surface, and it's pretty rigid. I can lean into it really hard at this 45 degree angle like that, and then it's right where I need to be to push on the drill. So position is everything with this with the tools and, work, and working with tools and you know 